Hey Cedric. How have you been? I've been good just working hard on yourself. I've been good. I just bought me a new car. Oh really what kind? I bought a Honda CRV. It has great gas mileage you know with gas becoming so expensive nowadays. Wow that's great. Does the government regulate gas prices? Well that's an interesting question Cedric. I actually read an article in the newspaper the other day that said that the natural gas industry that the US government first regulated the natural gas industry in 1938 because they believed the industry was acting as a natural monopoly because of the fear of possible abuses such as charging unreasonably high prices and given the rising importance of natural gas to all consumers the natural gas act was passed this act imposed regulations and restrictions on the price of natural gas to protect consumers. Then why are gas prices so high today? Into the 1980s and early 1990s, the industry gradually moved toward less regulation, allowing for healthy competition and market-based prices. These moves led to a strengthening of the natural gas market, lowering prices for consumers and allowing for a great deal more natural gas to be discovered. Today, the natural gas industry is regulated by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, FERC. While FERC does not deal exclusively with natural gas issues, it is the primary rulemaking body with respect to the regulation of the natural gas industry. See I knew there had to be something behind the increase of gas. Sorry my phone was ringing. But yay I heard on the news that gas prices could reach up to $5 by the middle of summer. I heard that the reason that gas has went up so high is because of crude oil. The price of crude oil is very expensive and it causes the price of gas to rise. The demand for gas has recently went down because the prices have went up. It only means that we have a higher supply of gas not being used. I was on the New York Times web and I saw that because of recent mergers, the five largest oil companies operating in the United States no control 61% of the domestic retail gasoline market, 47% of the domestic oil refinery market, and 41% of domestic oil exploration and production. The five corporations are ExxonMobil, Irving, Texas, BP Amico Arco, London, England, Chevron Texaco, San Francisco, California. Phillips Tosco, Oklahoma, and Marathon, Ohio. So competition really doesn't exist. These five corporations enjoy their largest market share at the retail end of their vertically integrated monopoly. All five own thousands of retail gas stations across the country, bearing their name and serving nothing but their own products. As a result of these recent mergers, the five corporations no control 61% of the retail market, an increase by on third prior to the mergers and acquisitions. So there is no need to advertise because everyone knows that in order to be mobile they need natural gas. Oil companies set prices based on the state of the economy. The price varies because of five reasons. Number one is refiner problems meaning that people are driving more during refinery periods. Refinery periods are when the companies is building a new addition to the company. Reason number two is speculation. Investors are afraid of increased crude costs. Number three is crude oil prices. Crude oil prices made up 44% of the cost of a gallon of gas. Prices set by supply and demand. The fourth reason is the sellers. If retail gas prices change, refiners see the profit or loss. Independent owners set their own prices. The last reason is taxes. Federal and state tax made up 27% of regular gas cost. 18.4 cents slash gallon. Plus state and local taxes. Well based on what you just said, oil companies set price by supply and demand. Also, they set prices based on the consumers. Oil companies use normal business tactics such as price watching and watching the levels of competition. The only unusual tactic would be the fact that oil companies are exporting more oil to foreign countries. Gas prices are rising in the US because oil amounts are lower than normal. This is unusual for oil companies. Wow how time flies but I got to go so we'll talk later. Oh, okay it was nice talking to you.